Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this is a reading for the sign of Cancer for the month of November 2017. I have pre shuffled these decks a little bit for you. I'm just going to shuffle them a little bit more. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Cancer. This is for uh, the sun sign and rising signs of Cancer. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the Lover's Card. This is the month of November 2017. Some of you could have an unexpected attraction, okay? This is where, um, this is an unexpected choice in love where perhaps you always had your heart and mind on somebody else or you thought, you know, that you had a certain type, okay? Or, you know, you had a certain um, thought of who your partner was going to be or your your uh, path was towards another person when the lovers cards comes out it means that an attraction is going to be so strong that you go in another direction unexpectedly okay so that is the basis of your month all right an unexpected choice in love connected to it is the tower right here something's probably going to crumble down Okay, something is probably going to fall down that is going to be a blessing in disguise. Um, I think that there's been some drama in your life. Okay, there's been some drama and there's been some heartache. Um, I think that you've given all that you can give in a situation. And um, I think it's time. It's time for a change. Okay, it's time to bring the balance back to your life. Perhaps you've even been going overboard trying to make something work with somebody or something. You know, going, like, literally going too far, doing whatever you need to do to make somebody happy. And I think that it's go it was false from the beginning. And although you've given it your all, it is going to crash down because it's a false foundation all right you were not getting or are not getting the attention that you deserve or that you desire or that you want it's like the love no matter what you've done you've bent over backwards no matter what you've done it's, it's not being reciprocated okay and we've had this before for you so you're just not getting the attention that you desire or the love or the emotional support but the world and the sun and the justice <laughs> things are going to change okay things because the tower is here to help you I consider the tower a universe card the world is actually the universe card but for me the tower also signifies the universe it's when we have some like a divine intervention that comes in to change your life because you haven't been doing the right thing for you this is the right thing for you, this justice. And they see that you're not happy because this is happiness. So the universe says, all right, so-and-so isn't going to do anything about it. About it. They are going to let themselves be manipulated. They're going to let themselves be used. They're going to let themselves be stuck in a situation where they're not it's not equal you know they're not going to do anything about it because you know they're in love i understand that you guys love deeply okay so what but you know what i'm on their side so i'm going to help them out whether they like it or not thank god for unanswered prayers and i think i've told you this before cancer 
okay? You haven't, you've done everything that you could possibly do to make this work. And you aren't going to be the one to walk away. You aren't going to be the one to change it. So the universe is here to do that for you. But this tower, world, justice, sun, temperance, absolutely. This whole section is divine guidance, okay? It is. Along with the magician card right here and the lover's card. I mean, you have a lot of divine guidance. A divine help is here because you deserve this love. This love, okay? You do. You deserve this happiness. And it's time for you to do the right thing for you. Just be honest with yourself, okay? You can't hide in any addictions. You can't escape from the situation, okay? Because this is like faking it, faking it, trying to escape, block it out, okay? That You can. You can only do it for so long. But luckily, we have this tower here that's going to help you. Otherwise, you could be stuck in it for a really long time. But they're going to help you. And that's when everything changes. When the world card comes out, it's the end of a cycle, a big cycle. And it's time to start a new big cycle, a new phase, long term. So I, I think that something is going to become final if it has not already. Okay? It will be, it has, it will ha happen or it, ha <laughs> it will happen or it <laughs> I cannot talk or it has happened okay um, but anyway this is a new cycle all right that leads to happiness after something happens that isn't so good okay you're gonna feel like you have completely lost you might even feel lost inside okay you're gonna feel like oh my god you're gonna feel this thing is gonna come out the truth is gonna come out it's gonna hurt Okay, there's going to be some pain involved, unfortunately, because there, it's like there was this fight that you could have never won no matter what you did. Even when you surrender to it, you still can't win. All right? But victory is here. Okay, you are going to find the balance. You are going to find the happiness. You are going to find the harmony. And I think for many of you, there's going to be new love. I do. We have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have a Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And we have Libra, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right here. So we have them all. We have all the signs. But anyhow, I think your new love that's coming in I mean, you definitely have several choices. You probably have a choice between two, even, Cancer. I think there is going to be an unexpected choice in love. And you could have more than one unexpected choice in love, okay? Because we have a lot of queens here, okay? So I think that and a queen can be a king, you know, man or a woman, really. Um, but I see that there's going to be more than one choice. So, but something needs to break down. Maybe you need to break away from one and a new one's going to come in. That could certainly be the case. I do see that something is going to be final, okay? There's some finality here. Um, I also see some karma as well. So, this, for many of you, this, you're in a karmic situation that you can't ignore anymore and it's time to pay off the debt and move on to the next next lesson okay it looks like one lesson has been learned and it's time to move on to the other one i do have to remind you just one more time that your connection to the divine is huge and you know that you do okay use that to your ability use those resources to help you okay the magician is also about manifestation your thoughts become things all right. Maybe you're thinking that you want something more practical and more exciting in the universe. Here's your thinking. You may be stuck in a situation, but the universe hears your thoughts. And you they know that you can't make a move, but they hear you thinking about it. So the universe says, okay, I heard you. Here I come. And this is you, Cancer. Man or woman. 
and Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I think I, I do really believe it's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I'm going to keep going. Awareness again, you have the magician twice. It's also a very successful time, believe it or not. You ask for the resources from within and above and you will receive them. That's how deep your connection is. It's time to focus your energy in another direction there, Cancer. And I think you need to focus it towards a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or that's what you need to leave, okay? Or it could be any sign because they're all here. But this is somebody who is very... Um, much in control they can be very dominant very um loyal as well very loyal very in control very very stable secure steady um honest stubborn okay but this person right here i believe is going to be in your next chapter of your life because that's where it is i think this person is after the the breakdown it is after the breakdown it's where you change your energy and happiness comes happiness is going to come it is there to be had but I think that this month you might be presented with an unexpected that's the basis of your reading an unexpected choice in love all courtesy of your thoughts <laughs> because your thoughts are sent to the universe and you're the universe is gonna break it down for you because you're not really doing it yourself you know you're not uh, taking the bull by the horns or anything that's that's what I see and this card is a is where you're gonna focus your energy you're gonna focus it over here you're gonna focus it over here this is a change where are you gonna focus your energy it's the fork in the road you can only go one way left or right which way is it gonna be are you going to stay stuck or are you going to move forward onto something new? With this lover's card right in the middle, it tells me that many of you are going to go towards this attraction that you cannot deny. All right? Be, and that's going to happen. It's going to be a blessing in disguise. There's going to be a some kind of shakeup before that that was going to hurt. Okay? Somehow it's going to hurt your feelings or something. Or it's going to be a complete shock. Yeah. Okay. This is the Four of Cups. It's a missed opportunity in love. That's where you've been. You haven't been getting the love that you desire. And this is you. The emotional support. And your thoughts have been projecting that out to the universe that you are so unhappy. Even though you haven't really spoken the words too much, you've been thinking about it. And your thoughts become things. We have the magician twice. You are, seriously, your thoughts become things in a very big way. And your divine connection is so great, of course they become things. I mean, come on now. So... You are unhappy in love, and the universe hears it, and that's why this tower is here. And that's why we have this unexpected choice in love. This month looks good. It looks a little scary because you, you might be forced to take a different path, and you weren't quite, you know, you never were going to do it. I mean, you wanted to do it, but you thought about doing it. You know what I mean? Somebody had to make the move for you, all right? So it does lead to happiness, by the way. This month, I think that there's unexpected choice. That's for darn sure. Yeah, like I said, you might have to choose between two people. I seriously think you're going to have to. I think new love is coming in for many of you. And if it's not a love partnership, it could between, be between a child and a parent or a family member and, you know, somebody else. But I think it's a love interest. Uh, I do believe that you are going to have a choice between more than one person. Look at them all. Holy shit. Didn't I say holy crap, Ola? Oh, no, that was for somebody. That was for Virgo last week. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, there is. There's like a soulmate connection here, okay? There is a soulmate connection here 
with you, for you. You do have a soulmate out there, Cancer. Don't give up. You are underneath, okay? Do not give up hope, okay? The universe hears your thoughts, so keep thinking what you've been thinking and see what happens. <laughs> love is coming. Real love. And it's going to be very stable and secure with this Ace of Pentacles. All right? It's something brand new. All right. Now, do you want to stay insecure? Because this is where you focus your energy, the two of wands. You choose a path. This is the fork in the road, okay? Left or right. Which way are you going to go? You want to focus it where you're stuck at right now? Or are you going to move into something new? All right. Here we have love, real love. All right. This is insecure. Insecurity? Security. What are you going to focus it on? I truly believe that your... All that you've been through is leading you that much closer to your soulmate. There's a soulmate here. There is, and it's coming right up. It's right around the corner with this world card. This world card. It is. It's right around the corner. This I consider a deep, deep attraction. Kind of like a soulmate. It's a two of cups. But now we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords on each side. Okay, just have to tell you. These are, this is a couple meant to be together. Meant to be, these two are meant to be together. And they're looking at this. Okay? So, and it leads to a wonderful new chapter. So I, <laughs> together, together. That's meant to be together. You guys have a soulmate. The universe wants you to be with this soulmate. There's going to be an unexpected choice in love. Okay? It's going to be very romantic. You're going to feel very familiar with this person. After you've been feeling insecure. Okay? There's going to be this new security. All right? And I think it's with a new person altogether that you are meant to be with. I'm not kidding. Meant to be with. November looks absolutely beautiful. Okay? It's an unexpected choice in love this month. It's about making a decision. We have soulmate all over the place in this reading. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. And it's really not the consequences. It's the greatness, okay? It's the happiness with the sun of your choice. And, the, it, and I say consequences because if you choose, if you don't move in the right direction, because you have to choose a direction here, you have to make a decision. With all these twos, they're about decisions plus this justice. You absolutely need to make a decision. And this is a this is a choice where you're going to have to make a decision. I'm not kidding. All right. And it's in regards to a soulmate. All right. If you don't choose to make to do, make a move, that's that's a consequence. That's up to you. I mean, maybe it's not. It's up to you to, to, to decide. It's up to you to decide. Get it? It's up to you to decide. The universe is going to give you a push. All right? This right here is a gift from above, this Ace of Pentacles. That's a gift of something new, probably a new partnership, because you have not been getting the love that you desire. And they've heard your thoughts. They know that you want that love so badly. And I think they're bringing in your soulmate because of it. You've been, you've been manifesting it with your thoughts. Assertiveness. Oh my gosh. Yee. That's what you need. Oh my gosh. I'm using that in for you. Assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently 
and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. Strength and truthfulness? We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength in guiding your words. Oh my God. This is perfectly meant for you. That's why the universe, the tower is here. They're going to help you to be assertive. Good luck. Huh. You're ready, but you're not. You're ready, but you don't want to do it. Because it's going to hurt. But this is a major completion. It means that something big has ended and it's time to start new. Celebrate your success. You can check that off of your karmic debt box. Because there's karma here. Talk to you later, Cancer.